All right, guys, been a minute since we played with some shotguns on the channel. Haven't really properly introduced my road gun. I know I talk about it a lot on the channel. This is my little Marine Magnum Remington 870. This is exactly how I pulled it out of my truck. We'll see if I can hit anything with it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Guys, you can't stop a Marine Magnum. These guns are great. As you can see, a pump action shotgun's a way to go, generally. Really good way to lay down some lead, lay down the law, depending on what you gotta do. And uh, really, without getting too silly here, the main thing about a Marine Magnum that I like, because I'm a ginger, I rust everything I touch, I have to have a gun that doesn't rust or corrode or cause any kind of issues when you're out in a field situation. Or if you're just investigating a uh, bump in the night, you don't want something that's gonna rust on you. And uh, the finish on this gun is great. And I'll be honest with you, you know, it's kind of nice having the two-tone uh, look is really, really sweet. You know, they do have an aesthetic uh, quality to them that when you pick this gun up, you probably mean business. And uh, <laughs> I keep this thing stuffed uh, behind the seat of the truck. You never know when you got to hop out and get down to business, and it'll definitely do that. Um, I've got a uh, Molly attachments on the uh, back seat of my truck, and I keep uh, a couple of those shot shell carriers in the back where you can draw the shot shells out pretty quick. And uh, I pretty much run mine with low velocity uh, nine pellet flight control buckshot, which is pretty much what I've been running here. I'm going to run a couple more rounds for you here and just see how it goes. All right, so you got seven in this gun, so hold seven shots. It is rated for three inch. I'm not gonna punish myself too much, but I will shoot some three inch through it. Let's just have a go here. Very nice, very nice. How about some slugs? Um, it's a really, really simple type of gun. Not a whole lot going on. Very, very simple. You've got a factory magazine extension, which is also uh, nickeled, uh, just like the rest of the gun. Polymer furniture. Polymer trigger guard. Safety is located right down here. Real simple to get to. Uh, I tend to prefer the Remingtons uh, over the Mossbergs. That's just my opinion. Uh, I do own Mossberg 500, uh, 590s and they are wonderful guns. I would never take anything away from Mossberg. They make a wonderful gun. But when it comes to shotguns, I tend to be kind of a Remington guy. Um, that's just my opinion for what it matters. And uh, we're gonna run some of these Berniki uh, Green Lightnings. Kind of like White Lightning, but instead it's green. They're even green, oddly enough. Oh, look at that high brass joker. You can just look at that and tell that's about to hurt. It's okay. All right, so I got two in her. Let's see, that's three, four, six. Yeah, so six in the tube and one in the spout. All right. We've got some sodas down there. I've got some slugs. I think we got a winning combination here. God dang. Well, <laughs> well then, looks like I took out a small sap sapling back there. I might have missed a couple of the sodas, but I got the tree. <laughs> well then, I'm sure uh, PETA or whoever, the EPA is going to be jumping down my butt for that one. That's okay. Boy, those things kick, son. All 
All right, that one that's hiding down there behind the little cross member, I'm gonna see if I can shoot through the wood and the soda with this slug here. I got one left. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. You know, 12 gauge shotguns, in my opinion, are just uh, the most utilitarian guns there are. You can't go wrong with a 12 gauge shotgun. Pump action, in my opinion, is the way to go if you want a good utilitarian gun. And uh, it, it just really is a nice type of setup. I know we talk about these Marie Magnums quite often, and uh, it's a gun that I show off quite often in the videos, but I never really uh, pictured us. I, I don't think we ever really did just a general video on the, this particular gun. I really want to just kind of take a moment to show it off. And I tell you what, I'm having so much fun here. I'm going to pass this off to Chad and let him have a little fun with the 12 gauge. And we're going to move on with life. But uh, stick around. You want to see Chad play with this thing too. All right, well, it's been a while since I've been punished with a shotgun. So I've got some high brass, three inch magnum, 15 pellet buckshot in here. <sighs> Let's see how this goes here. <laughs> oh, I love shotguns. Oh my god. Oh, oh god, I flinched. Oh. oh, that's so rough. God, those things kick like a mule. Oh. Let's try some 12 pellet, two and three quarter magnum. God almighty, man. Let's see. Oh my god. Dude, this thing is so much fun. Eric's had this thing for quite a while rolling around in his truck. We're just never really taking it out for a video. Shown it off plenty of times, like you said. But, let's see. More punishment. All right, let's see. Well then. He was swinging. Let's see what other punishment we can uh, find here. Let's try some rifled slugs. These are, I don't know if these are true balls or not. These are just federal rifled slugs. Uh oh, look at that, I have one round left. I can't count today. There we go. All right, rifled slugs. It has been a while since I've shot a shotgun. I almost forgot how to work one. Let's see here. All right, so rifled slugs. Let's try some shots a little bit uh, longer range here. We got 30, 40 yard gongs, and then we've got a gong back at 70 yards. Let's see. Oh, he just won't want to fall over today. <laughs> I'd say she gets the job done, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Just got a hodgepodge of random ammo. So, flight control buckshot. Let's try some of those out here. Now, this ammo is really neat. You guys have seen it before. This is actually, I think, the uh, low velocity loading runs about 1145 feet per second. They also make a high velocity loading that's uh, a little bit over 1300. That's really a stomper. But this has the flight control wad, so it'll help keep those pellets. Um, a little bit tighter, you know, shot pattern out to longer range. So we're going to shoot it at uh, yeah, about 15 yards or so, and then maybe pattern one on those 30-yard gongs back there. Look at that. It was like 15 yards away. It looks like a slug hit it. Now yeah, let's try a headshot. Look at that. Well, he just ain't going to knock over. Let's try some cut shells. So these things run pretty good in uh, my BPS shotgun, the Browning that I've got. It's kind of like an Ithaca 37 where it has a bottom eject pattern to it. They won't really reliably feed through the action just because of the cut that you make in there. So let's try one of these out here. 30 yard gong. Well then. And sometimes you have ejection problems. Still fun nonetheless. 
just a cheap way to make a slug. Take a target load, cut it, easy cheesy. Barry showed us that forever ago. And they do thump with some authority for sure. Got a few more of these here. A soda left? No, no sodas. Let's try a gopher right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Dude, these things pack a wallop. All right, so I've got a six inch popper hiding behind a, uh, a little sagging water jug there, or soda jug. Let's see if we can go through there and hit him. Oh yeah. Yep. Sometimes these things just don't want to get out of there. Look at that one, the uh, base separated from it. All right, so since Eric didn't shoot any of his three inch loads that he had out here, Magnum Buckshot. It's a mystery load. It's 15, 15 pellet SMB. This doesn't look fun. Why not? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> 15 pellet buck. Oh, good God. Oh, let's see if we knock these over. Whoa, <laughs> those are hot. <laughs> yeah, those, those might be a touch on the warm side. The uh, action is getting stuck a little bit because the, I guess the brass and everything is just expanding out and just locking itself in the, uh, in the lead of the chamber there. Woo, Let's see what else we got in here real quick. All right, I'm gonna try another tube of these uh, Federal Flight Control Tactical Loads. These are pretty much my absolute favorite load. I mean, I keep quite a few of them just laying around the house just for, you know, kind of emergency situations or whatever the case is, keep them loaded up in all my defensive shotguns. But the stuff just works great. Let's take out a few of these bogeys up front here. Stuff just flat out works. All right, so as you know, one of the uh, benefits of a pump action shotgun is the ability to take a random variety of ammo and really not have any worry about the action cycling since there's nothing to move. You cycle the action manually. So I'm gonna take just a random hodgepodge of ammo here. I've got a mystery slug. I don't know what that is. We're gonna shoot it first. Let's see, some buckshot, target load, another mystery buck, ooh. That looks like it might hurt. That looks like a, um, maybe an incendiary slug. Let's see. I think that's it, yep. Let's try out this random hodgepodge to see what we got here. All right, incendiary slug. Let's see if this pops at all. Slug work. Whoa. Well, that one felt good. <laughs> and that's empty. <laughs> Guys, we can stand here and shoot shotguns all day long, but I think you get the idea. The uh, Remington Marine Magnum is an excellent shotgun. I mean, the coating on it is perfect for somebody like Eric, and especially like if you're just looking at having a shotgun for the road that you can just leave in the truck all the time or just take in and out and not really have to worry about maintaining the outside of it, worried about rust developing. I mean, I've got one of the 870 Tacticals that's just a parkerized finish. And, you know, it just flash rust. You know, you keep it oiled up and everything, the oil will eventually come off if you just have it kind of out and about. I mean, I keep it in the truck, I keep it beside the bed, and I just have to constantly maintain that thing. And a finish like this, you don't really have to worry about it as much. I mean, it's not completely bulletproof, but it's still one of those things where it'll definitely work out a lot better, especially in saltwater type environments. If you live in Florida or anywhere near the coast where you've got that kind of worry, just great. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had a lot of fun making it. Anytime we get shotguns out to the range, it's just immense fun. And uh, as you can see from the destruction down range, we, uh, we got a little bit of cleanup to do. So uh, take care, guys. We got a lot more on the way. See you soon.